The fourth category of the Operation Security Clause is called Logging and Monitoring. It has four controls, and an objective of having system logs and events recorded to be used as evidence when needed. The first control is called Event Logging, and it lists the various event logs that an organization should be producing, recording, storing, monitoring, and regularly reviewing. The logs fall under several categories such as user activities, errors, exceptions, and security. Event logs should include the user ID associated with the event, the system identification and location if possible, the activities that this user has performed, the dates of these activities, and the accepted and rejected system and data access. Changes to system configuration should be recorded, along with the use of critical applications, the files accessed, the use of privileges, the users and the protocols used, any alarms that were raised, and the changes to protection systems. Logging systems should be used to log all those system events, where having a centralized repository of logs allows for generating consolidated reports, and for checking correlations between events. Access to those systems should be controlled, and changes to logs should be prohibited.